welcome back. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me for a little while. Um, so today I wanted to go through this little CNC machine that we designed here and critique it. And then we'll build a new one. <laughs> um, so first off, all the components like these rails, the spindle, um, I modeled most of those. I didn't model the rails. But with these, I just found the lengths of them off of an eBay ad. Um, so yeah. The second thing that I notice is you have no way of attaching these other than welding them. I have no really, I don't really have a good way of welding these really square and straight. And so I would say we should probably think of something better, maybe like a plate and then bolt them together. Um, so that's a problem. One of the biggest things is this is too wide. We could, we could make this a lot skinnier and then we could create more travel in our uh, x-axis. Um, another thing that I noticed, we could separate these more. If we separated these further, then we might get a better reaction to the moments. So a moment is like a torque. It's like a, just a torque. That's all it is. It's a fancy engineering way of saying torque. And so if we spread these apart further, this would be further away from the moment. The moment's gonna be, you know, somewhere in here. It doesn't matter. But as long as they're further away from the center of it, the moment will be, uh, it'll take less force on the actual rails themselves. So we could spread those apart a little ways. We're gonna get rid of some of our y-axis then though. So that's kind of the trade-off there. But I think it'd be better as far as chatter goes. And as far as using really cheap rails, we need to think about that because these rails are so cheap that we need to give them every advantage. Um, another thing, I wanted to justify this. Originally, I see a lot of CNC machines where these are sitting sideways instead of flat like these. I decided to go flat like this because they are supported in this way. Like a force going down this way is supported by steel. Um, and so yeah, it, it just adds extra support as opposed to them being on this face over here. Uh, might give it more rigidity. Um, other than that, like all of these tubes will be filled with sand just to give them more mass to reduce the, uh, all of these tubes will be filled with sand to give it more dampening qualities, to give it more mass, uh, kind of like to try and mimic cast iron. Oh, I wanted to talk about the spindle. The spindle is really important because as you noticed two videos back when we talked about the static forces, most of the deformation was in the tool. If you get one of those cheap routers with a little output on it, it'll have, you know, maybe a 3 8 half inch shank or whatever going to a call it adapter. Well, that's no good because all of your forces go through that little half inch. And so you want as beefy of a spindle as you can. So yeah, that's that's about all for this critique. We'll go, we'll try and make some more iterations here, and we'll come back and make some more iterations until we shoot the engineer.